Hello, I am back with another tutorial. So this is a makeover on my lovely niece, Taria. She wanted a glam look, something totally different than she's used to. She's very sporty. She's on the softball team, um, basketball team. So it's fun to see her glammed out. And she's actually super um, tanner than normal because she's been out in the sun for softball. So it was interesting tackling her new skin tone and, you know, trying to give a more tomboyish kind of gal a glam look so I went ahead and moisturized and primed her skin as well as primed her eyes on the eyes I'm going for like a rosy kind of shimmery look um, nothing too crazy um, just because again if you don't wear a lot of makeup I don't want to go too far into something that you'd be totally like uncomfortable with so here I am using the Lorac Unzip palette I applied a shimmery rose gold to the lid and then in the crease, I use my Sedona Lace Universal Blender to help um, fade it out with a more mauve tone. And you want to make sure everything is blended really, really nicely. I didn't bring the Urban Decay Sin Shadow Base too high because I didn't want to make her whole um, brow bound too pale. I really just wanted to keep it on the lid where I could nude out the lid so the colors popped. And then I go in with a pointed crease brush from the Vortex collection again, and I shade her eye with a more burgundy shade to give a little, little bit of definition. I love how her brows turned out. Um, she has a really good shape already. I just kind of extended them a little bit, and I'm using Max Stud Pencil, which is a great color for her deep hair and her skin tone. So I'm just filling it in lightly and creating this shape. I love a bold brow on young um, clients because it just it's so youthful and fresh and then I conceal underneath just to add a natural brow bone highlight as well as to clean up the shape I'm just using a Graftobian foundation from my warm super cream palette and then I'm fading it down and this is just an eyeliner a flat liner brush from Essence of Beauty and then I go ahead and also put a little bit of concealer on the top more so to just kind of clean up the shape and you want to make sure to blend out that concealer really good because you don't want to see it. Set that highlight with a coordinating eyeshadow. This is MAC Bamboo. Something that has a little bit of a warm tone to it so her um, brow bone won't go too ashy. So once you're done setting their brow bone, making sure everything's blended in, move to eyeliner. I didn't go too heavy with the eyeliner. A baby wing, a little bit of a tiny bit of um, a wing and not too high of an eye eyeliner shape again keeping it kind of natural and then I'm throwing on lashes these are style 747 short my favorite style for my clients and the liner is Inglot gel number 77 I always 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 use that on my clients okay now I'm going to do some foundation I'm applying a mixture of Make It Forever HD um, this is a lighter shade to do a little bit of a highlight um, I, I will say I also mixed in some of my Graftobian 5 pan palette which contains the darkest shades in the range. Um, it was a challenge trying to get the depth of her skin tone along with the redness that have come with being in the sun. So the foundation felt a little lighter than I wanted it to but I went ahead and corrected it by using um, a darker powder as well as bronzer. Bronzer is your friend. I'm using CoverGirl Ebony and here I am etching out the contours of her face to bring the depth back into her skin. So I'm placing that as a contour as well as kind of like a bronze. So blend everything together. Adding back the depth of her skin, not so that so much of a flat foundation finish. And then I like to add a blush to give color and dimension back to the skin as well. On younger clients, I am okay with putting more blush on the apples of the cheeks because it's very youthful and fresh. This is a very deep reddish berry tone. Um, in order for blush to show up on deeper skin tones, you need to go with super pigmented blushes in um, tones like pure red, pure orange, pure um, berry, just deeper blushes so they will show up nicely. So I blended that in with my pink Snow and Lace cheek brush and then I'm applying my favorite highlighter for deeper skin tone which is matte gold deposit along with um, this cheek brush from Snow and Lace. I'm blending it in so that way it's not too shiny all over the place. So I'm blending in now the actual lash band. It does sometimes show the clear lash band so I go over that with liner. This is MAC Feline Cold Pencil and then I'm also putting that in her lower lash line just to kind of finish off the eye. Now to the lips, I am giving her this really fun vampy lip. 
Um, it's a deep wine tone. First, I'm outlining her lips with MAC Night Moth a Lip Pencil. You want something deep enough that will kind of correct and contour the lip. And then I'm going with a lip, liquid lipstick in a similar tone, a little bit lighter. I love matte lips on youthful clients because it's very fun and it's like really in right now. So the lip kind of brings everything together because a lot, the eyes have a similar kind of berry tone, but the lip is obviously the focus of the look. And then I go back in with the lip pencil to redefine and make sure it's super duper neat. Okay, so the lips are done. Now I'm just applying a last final step. This is um, a little bit of peachy pink glitter. I'm applying it with a, of, um, with a concealer brush and eye candy liquid sugar so that way it sticks the lid and doesn't fall down. Um, again, she's young, she can carry glitter and it's just a little subtle sparkle which kind of makes the look pop even more. So it's really pretty and it kind of gives that final touch that I wanted to the look. And then I'm going to set the rest of her face with a matte highlight just because I want a balance of matte and shimmer on her face. And then I'm going to just add mascara, curl her lashes, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's fun doing makeup on other people. If you like it, if you like these kind of makeover videos, continue to like and comment below. Make sure to check out MakeupByRenRen.com for a full post with pictures and products used. And then I'm going to show just a few seconds of everyone's reaction to the look, including my husband, a.k.a. Uncle Ro, who is uh, kind of strict with his teenage nieces. So check that out. Look in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is she like, you like, 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 like,